واذكر في الكتاب مريم إذ انتبذت من أهلها مكانا شرقيا Meaning mention, O my Prophet, may peace be upon you, the story and the account of this righteous, pious woman, Maryam alayhi salam, who will be the mother of a great Prophet. And not only a great Prophet, but a Prophet from Ulul Azam, from the greatest Prophets who showed patience and determination. فَاتَّخَذَتْ مِن دُونِهِمْ حِجَابًا فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيًّا And what did she do? She cut off from the people to devote herself to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel alayhi salam in the form of a man, in the form of the most handsome of men. And there were certain causes or situations which would normally cause, call to or cause indecency. That he was, a, he was a handsome man and he was in his youth and she was also beautiful and they were in a place where nobody, nobody else could see them. But what did she do? She gave precedence to her fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over her desires. And so, Allah subhana rewarded her with something better than that which she abandoned. And she never thought, not even for a day, that she would ever be a, a mother of a prophet. So what did she say? قالت إني أعوذ بالرحمن منك إن كنت تقيا. And when she saw this angel, but in the form of a in the form of a handsome man, what did she do? She feared Allah, and she reminded him that if you are a pious person, then stay away from me. And here it became clear, and the consequence of seeking the pleasure of Allah over that which a person desires. قال إنما أنا رسول ربك لأهب لك غلاما زكيا. Here it became clear, and that is that the angel Jibril alayhi salam, in the form of the beautiful man, he said, rather I am a messenger who has been sent by Allah to give you the glad tidings of a child, and that this child will have certain certain features, and he will be a child who is pure, without sins. Somebody whom Allah will save. And just as Prophet Zakariya alayhi salam reacted, then similarly, Maryam alayhi salam, she also reacted. Meaning, how can I bear a child and I do not have a husband? And there are two ways of a woman bearing a child. Either she has a husband or she does the actions of immorality. And she negated both. She said, neither do I have a, a husband such I, that I can bear a child and neither am I a woman who is immoral because Allah saved her from this. And Allah subhanahu decreed that Isa alayhi salam would be born to a mother without a father. Yani she does not have a husband. And just as Allah subhanahu had created Adam alayhi salam without a mother and a father, then even easier for Allah to create Isa alayhi salam without a father. And Allah subhana, in the context of mentioning Isa alayhi salam who was born to a mother without a father, he mentioned Adam alayhi salam. That verily the example of Isa alayhi salam is like the example of Adam alayhi salam.